uh, I would like to take this opportunity to uh, uh, announce uh, the uh, financial opening up. I will switch into uh, Chinese. Yesterday, President Xi announced uh, greater and uh, wider access to the financial sector. PBOC and other regulatory authorities are uh, stepping up our implementation according to the request of uh, the Central Party Committee. We will accelerate the opening up of the financial sector to enhance its competitiveness. For the next steps in the financial sector, we will follow the three following principles. First, we will adopt pre-establishment national treatment and a negative list. Second, financial sector opening up will go in tandem with exchange rate regime reform and capital account liberalization. Third, as we open up, we should at the same time prevent financial risks. Financial regulatory capacity should match the openness of the financial sector so as to prevent financial risks. To follow President Xi's remark that it is better to implement reform and opening up merits sooner rather than later, and we should implement these measures faster rather than slower. The following measures for opening up financial sector will be implemented in the next few months. First, remove the foreign ownership cap for banks and asset management companies, treating domestic and foreign capital equally, allow foreign banks to set up branches and subsidiaries at the same time. Second, lift the foreign ownership cap to 51% for security companies, fund managers, futures companies, and life insurance, and remove the cap in three years. Third, no longer require joint funded security companies to have at least one local security company as a shareholder. Fourth, to further improve the stock market connectivity of the Chinese mainland and Hong Kong, we will increase the daily quota by four times from May the 1st onward, after which the daily quota for Shanghai bond and Shenzhen bond investment will be increased from 13 billion yuan to 52 billion yuan, while that for Hong Kong bond investment from 10.5 billion yuan to 42 billion yuan. Fifth, allow eligible foreign investors to act as insurance agents and the loss of the justice in China. Six, lift restrictions on the business scope of foreign investment insurance agent companies, treating them equally as domestic companies. So for these six measures will be implemented in the next few months. My prediction is that by 30th of June, most of these measures would have been implemented. Before the end of the year, we will put forward the following measures. First, encourage foreign ownership in trust, financial leasing, auto finance, currency brokerage, and consumer finance. Second, apply no cap to foreign ownership in financial asset investment companies and wealth management companies newly established by commercial banks. Third, substantially expand the business scope of foreign banks. Fourth, Restrictions on the business scope of jointly funded security companies treating domestic and foreign institutions as equals. Fifth, foreign insurance companies will no longer need to set up a representative office in China for two consecutive years prior to the establishment of a fully owned institution. Besides, I'm also delighted to announce here, based on the joint efforts by China and UK, 
Preparatory work for launching Shanghai London Connect is proceeding well. Mr. Fang Xinghai is uh, also in the audience. He is the chairman of uh, CSRC. We aim to launch Shanghai London Connect within two years. Previously, we've also announced uh, some of uh, the opening up policies in the financial service sector, and the progress is uh, well underway. Previously, we've talked about the opening up of uh, the uh, bank cards, the market access for the clearing and payment institutions and uh, entities. We would open up the credit rating services and also give access uh, of uh, most favored national treatment to the uh, assessment institutions. Work in all these fronts have been well underway. Relevant departments are revising their regulations so as to ensure that these work will be phased in in a timely fashion to facilitate smooth running of uh, these uh, access widening we will also give more supportive efforts I like to emphasize in particular as we open up the financial sector we should also step up financial regulations regulations some may have the misconception that once the financial sector is opened up the regulatory approaches will be relaxed. I think you can be free of such concern. The opening up of uh, the access to foreign business is one of uh, the uh, efforts, but at the same time for whatever company that is of whatever ownership, we will have a prudential uh, regulatory monitoring. Also, such uh, regulatory monitoring is license-based, and uh, it will be equal on both domestic and foreign ones. There will be license management and uh, the access qualification and criteria control. By stepping up the regulatory monitoring, we can effectively mitigate against financial risks to enhance China's competitiveness in the financial sector so as to better promote the globalization and the opening up of China's financial sector. Thank you.